Let's raise up your hands where they are. Father, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. If you do believe in miracles, I just want to pray. If you have anything, whether it's a document, anything tonight, you see, we are already saved. Unless you're watching or saved, I want to tell you there is no way to heaven. Jesus Christ, you better give your love to God as your Lord and your personal Savior. And you can do that tonight. And I'm telling you, it's so simple. You can just follow me these ways and say, Lord Jesus, I accept you today. Forgive every sin I have sinned against you. Wash me with your blood. I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. I believe I'm forgiven. All my old is gone. And behold, I, I, am, I am saved. I am redeemed by the blood. I am born again. Wow, amazing. That's the prayer for salvation. Welcome in God's kingdom. Be in the word, study the word, and abandon your past. He welcomes you just as you are. He, he loves you and he forgives sin. God bless you. Congratulations. Now tonight, as I said, you're not just going to leave this room. It must be your season. Come on. Are you hearing me? It just has to be your season that you must produce. Don't miss this opportunity. I'm a prophet. I'm telling you the truth. You are praise must be in my season. Remember, fruits can't just produce out their season. They can only produce their what? So you are saying this My season, my season to produce, my season to get married, my season to get a job, my season to be promoted, my season to make my season to multiply, season to increase. I just want you to pray that this should be your season. Come on, somebody say, My season. Come on, say, My season. Are you there? Now, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 11, praying, don't, don't sit down, we are still praying. It says, he has made everything in his time. <laughs> he, he has made everything in time. So God has seasons. That's why you need to pray for this. I'm talking now, and somebody's hearing, but I want you to hear this properly. Please be your season. If it's not, we are saying to be season. Every gospel prom has to happen. Be my season. How many are ready for this? We are, we are making prayer that this... You become my season. You see, if it's your seed, you will just produce. Pray, I want to produce a fruit. If it's your season, it's automatic. It will just do in that. Now imagine Jesus Christ and need it. It's not. What? Jesus answered the place we see him to create. He talks to the tree back. Oh, wow. I need a fruit and I can't. I don't for me. He says, I guess you. I can imagine with you. May he never kiss you. He can come and say, I need you to do this. I can't afford you can his reaction. Then he says he even cuts off. One time, God, I was so busy in that single day. God, you know, my people leech. He said, My son, 
their to leave church. Listen, those has taken away, and those who I my two things that I have removed. Those who is an attack, they are attacked spiritually. And when they get attacked, whatever they're thinking in their mind is right. No, no, no. What I'm thinking now is right. One person who was drinking, he was a chain drinker and a smoker, an addict. God told me, he sent him into his life and he born again through me. And God by ghost. This is the calling. He's an apostle. And a man began. And one day, apparently, he woke up with a revelation. God has said, break. He didn't the title I gave him of an apostle. So I called him. I said, kindly, can you drop that title of apostle? Because if I'm fake, then I gave you a fake. Title. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. I, mean, I said, no, leave my name, the name I, the fake prophet gave you alone. Good apostle. Go to him. <laughs> you see, I said, so if you start a church, you see me, I release people to pulpit. Anyone, if God really has, if God has told you, and he has spoken to, I will even release you. Gradually, I say, the whole world will watch, and I will release you. If I said it, I will accept where you want to go, but I feel sorry for you, because I will, I will know you will crash. I will, trust me, I know you will crash, and you're going to come back and say, ah, it was not God who spoke to me. <laughs> oh, what? I, I don't think it was God. <laughs> I don't think it was God. What I'm saying to you, that you need to be very careful, all of you, that it's not off by God. When God casts you off, it's not a good thing. So he said to me, You'll be trying to pray for people and cut them off and try to bring them back. He said, if I remove people, think and pray. Why did I remove them? Some is the devil. Pray for them and help them to come back. But those who I remove them, he says, don't bring them back. The whole reason why King Saul lost his kingdom it was not because he sinned against God, but he brought a cursed person into Israel by the name Agag. God said, why did you bring him? Why did you bring him? So tonight, I want you to pray that this should be my season. I don't want to be cut off from God's agenda. I want this, I want to produce in this season and become useful to my masters. Now, I want you to take oil. If you have oil, I just want to pray with you using the oil tonight. And you're going to follow me in this prayer. And I believe you will produce. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray in agreement 
This is going to be the season. For me, these words. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Your word says, if I ask anything in your name, you shall give me. I ask you of one thing. I pray that this be my season. May I produce. May I bear fruit. I welcome this season. I welcome this season. In Jesus' name. I believe nobody will stop me. Nothing will stop me. Put your hand upon your head. By the power of the Holy Ghost and by the name of Jesus, I speak into this season that is yours. And I command you now, bear fruits, bear fruits, bear fruits. I command you now, bear fruits, produce, produce, produce. Let your job, your business, your career, your plans produce in Jesus' name. Say amen. Rub your hands. Just rub your hands. Just rub your hands. Rub your hands. Just rub your hands. As we pray. As we pray. Just rub your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman over there, you can just speak to that woman. I think she's sleeping or something. Or oh, that guy there. What is it? Is it, uh, uh, is it duty? Or Gertrude, or Elizabeth, or it's Sufila, or you can pick Elizabeth, Jose, Toko, all those people that are there. There is something that God is about to do. Some here, prophet. Just, okay, how are you? How are you? And meet your microphone. Can you unmute your microphone? Um, you have removed video. I want you to put back your video. Can you hear me? There is something I want to tell you that is so powerful. Very powerful. Can you help her to have? um, And it's going to be a miracle that will shock the whole world. What I'm seeing about this family. God is about to shock the whole world. I serve a God of the Bible who shocks the whole world. Can can you just... Can you just... um, Is she able to hear me? Is she able to hear me? We can't hear her. I can hear you, Papa. There is something. I I can hear you, Papa. There is something that God will do for you that's going to shake the whole world. I receive. Who's that man? I receive, Papa. I receive. Who's that man? It's my husband. Oh, let me talk to him. It's my husband. Let me talk to him. Oh, yes, Papa. You are... <laughs> I saw you in a shop. You were talking to a mechanic uh, over some brakes. What are these brakes for? No, the brakes for my car. What happened with the brakes? Like you were discussing with somebody about brakes. Well, what's happening yes. with the brakes? But when my car, they got worn out. Oh, that's why you had a discussion about brakes with this mechanic. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Let me go back. Let me go back to the woman. I'm here, Papa. 
I saw animals around you. What's this? I see a lot of animals around you. you yes, Papa, I'm a vet. You are a vet? Yes, Papa. Why, why is he laughing? <laughs> we are shocked, Papa. You are shocked. <laughs> the God whom I save has not yet shocked you. I say the God whom I save has not yet shocked you. The God whom I save will shock you tonight. And if anyone else who's watching me now or you are here and you believe that God can shock you, raise up your hands and say, oh Lord, shock my life. Now, as I'm talking to this family, as I'm talking to this family, you see, the reason why the Lord is revealing such things to you. This is not me talking to you. It is the leading of the Holy Spirit. And God, by his divine power and purpose, Amen. has given me a message to speak to your family. Because I am seeing someone right this minute. Because when people look at you, okay, you know, Lord Jesus, help me to say this and how to say it. How many kids do you have? One. Right. You see, God will give you own child. I receive. The one you have now, everybody oh. thinks is your child. Let it be like that. Keep it like that. But the two of you, you know it's a secret. That you adopted this child. And everybody else who sees you, they think is your child. May God bless you for what you did to adopt this child. But actually, you see, a secret of the two of you, nobody knows in the whole world. Nobody knows. Oh, yes. Is it true? Oh, yes, Papa. Is it true? It's true, Papa. It's true, Papa. <laughs> Very true. And God said to me, he said, it's, it's something that you kept. And because you kept this secret, God has visited you. If I be a prophet, you will conceive and you bear a son. And his name shall be Yeshua. For he shall be a child that shall be born in your old age. And you shall remember this word, that I am a prophet of the Most High God. The birth of this child shall be a sign that is God in heaven who saves mankind. And because of this, his name shall be called Yeshua. Yeshua is our son. I receive, we receive our Yeshua. Come on, somebody, raise your hands and shout hallelujah. If you can, raise up your hands wherever you are and say hallelujah. It was Hallelujah. the reason why they were not producing fruit of the womb. It was not the season. But God is putting things in a season they can produce. The reason why I, I had to it. speak about the brakes of the car is for him to know. Because he, the man right now, he's not believing what I'm saying. Though they're all saying amen, amen. I but, you see, but the reason why I, I had to I speak believe. about the brakes of the car is that if, if God can actually see his conversations, because he has got no money right now, in the spirit God is showing me you are an engineer. You are an engineer or yeah. something. You are an engineer. Yeah. You are an engineer. This yeah. woman, this woman next yeah. to you, she drives yeah. a fortuna. She drives a fortuna. She drives a fortuna. Oh, yeah. You... You drive a Range Rover and you also drive a white, a white, the one that has got no brakes, it's white in color. The one that has no brakes. Everest. 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 As I'm speaking now, it's parked outside your house. It can't even move for a long time and you can't even fix the brakes because you have no money. The God whom I save. He's yes. come down today and to visit you and to perform a wonder. He will turn around your business life, which I'm seeing, and he will lift you up because the God whom I serve, 
He's a lifter of men. If you believe in Jesus Christ, raise up a hand where you are and shout, I believe in Jesus. Wherever you are, if you believe in miracles, wherever you are, if you believe that God can do miracles for you, I pray that tonight you receive a miracle. Tonight God shocks you and shocks the whole world. I bless you wherever you are right now. Receive in the name of Jesus. This family, they are miracles. Listen, the moment, the moment you conceive, I want you to come to Malawi. The moment you conceive, I want you to come. Both of you. Both of you. The moment Amen. you conceive, I want you to come to Malawi. Amen. 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 We will come, my, my, my daddy. You will sing a song. He we are has done for me. He has done for me. He has done for me. What my doctor cannot do, he has done for me. Cannot do. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus, and I pray that you take this word seriously. God is able to do far above. Can you imagine the reason why I had to speak the secret they keep? The whole family. All their family members know that this is their child. Do you understand me? Keep it in that way. Keep it in that way. It's good they should think what they think that's your child. Because God gave you that child as your child. But he will give you a child born in your loins. He will give you a child born from your womb. And you shall know that it is God in heaven who saves man. And his name shall be called Yeshua. For God shall save mankind. I bless you and I pray for you because my God never fails. Amen. How many believe that God never fails? I want to see a hand of everyone else who believe that God never fails. You see, you see, you see this couple, this couple, you know, they'll become an example. If I say something, if I say something, and if you believe on it, it's like God's word never changed. It's about if you believe and if you confess it until it becomes into your life. God isn't some place of magician where you pay money and think things will happen. No. God wants you to get the word. If he, if he gives you a word, take that word and begin to confess it and work over it until you become it. Say amen. Everyone watching me tonight, God bless you for connecting.